So the events of Spider-Man 2 take place just about nine to 10 months after the events of Spider-Man Miles Morales. So what happened in between that time? Marvel Comics has already published an article on this by Tib Weber a couple weeks ago, uh, maybe just under a month. And these are nine things you may have missed in Marvel's Spider-Man 2 prequel comic. This is the gap filler between Miles Morales and Spider-Man 2. So let's get right on into it. So let's start with the story of the Tarantula. And so the comic begins with the battle between the Spider-Man man and tarantula so what i wanted to get into with this is the potential easter eggs or things they could put into this because these these are the most recent events that we have with these villains and stuff and as you can see here in the second paragraph i'm not gonna like read through everything but as you can see in the second paragraph here they are using the the highlighting the web bonds and web bombs and the spider bots which are gadgets that are used in both games this is definitely the tie-in and i feel like some of these events are going to have a big play on how spider-man 2 goes so i can see as you can see here in this uh screenshot that they provided online again i'm gonna or i'm gonna put the link in the description below we have the scene right here and this is tarantula and miles morales and they're fighting him and this is probably one of the first interactions he's probably one of like the first villains you encounter like you encounter this uh the first one you can see look you can see the spider-man suit the advanced spider-man suit and you see miles Morales' suit this is it this is the gap this is the gap filler size so i recommend you guys get to the, get into this get into the comic you can find it on marvel's uh marvel unlimited they actually do uh like like a subscription service for for comics it's really cool marvel games just has the article here too for free if you want to get it there now getting on into number eight the hood the hood is one of the most popular not a popular i would say not a lot of people talk about him but he's pretty popular because he went up against the new avengers or he's going up against the new avengers and i think this is going to tie in to like how the mcu plays their thing because they're setting up the new avengers and yeah he fought loki and all of them he fought hood is like like one of the most prolific villains in the marvel universe but as you can see they're, they're giving his his description you can read the description and you can see the screenshot here of one of the scenes where they're actually fighting him right there and so now we have the tinkerer's legacy so this is a key thing that i want to get into because it literally this is literally from the miles morales game this is not anything else they this is literally from the miles morales game and we get to find out what happened to the tinkerers you know what happened to her what happened to all her tech and stuff so we find out that the tinkerer who is really finn mason one of miles's best friends they grew up with in the uh, first game um she was the leader of the underground and she was trying to bring down the rock sound co corporation and everything with the weapons and she built she built with programmable matter he literally is going in and taking these things and modifying the technology to fit his own liking like he's just she's doing doing you know doing what hood does and his, his him and his goons so i think again that this is again we're gonna, might tie into the game like we might see some of his villains pop back up we might see a base of his uh i don't know like they said there was gonna be more villains and so you kind of think like we don't want to think too big so we have mysterio in there right we have lizard we have craven venom confirmed right but we don't want to think too big and i think some of the characters that were already like 10 months ago that's not that's not too long right they can reappear they can reappear somehow some way and so i think that some of these villains like the tinker like look like this he has uh the tinkerer's tech and miles is connected with that right and so he's probably going to use it for some of his suits as well and we're probably going to be doing missions that revolved around the hoods you know tech or like him stealing the tech stealing his version of the tech or something like that i don't know something you know if you get my drift what they're trying to do with it we have some history on the lifeline tablet now like i'm going to not gonna lie did not know much about this i think i've seen this before but didn't know much about this and this is again cool information to know because these could be extra tidbits or things that we may look for or things that we or just already known information that we have going in and it keeps it fresh right this information is probably new to most of us who probably don't really indulge too much into the comics and so when we get into this and we see like what happened between that nine months some people are like what nine to ten months what what could have possibly happened this is what happened and this is what was going on now we get into point number five i believe we're on when spider-man and mary jane are catching up after their fight with tarantula 
Miles shows Peter his modifications to the spider lore. Peter originally, like, I think the spider lore was that gadget you throw, you know, when you throw it in the stealth missions with Mary Jane in the first one. Yeah, that, that's what that is. Peter originally designed these devices to emit a pinging sound that could distract nearby enemies, and MJ used these lures to sneak past bad guys during their stealth missions in Marvel Spider-Man 2, I just already said. So they're already explaining everything. Like, literally, you can go into this article and see everything, like, just said it they that's what they use in marvel spider-man so they're literally tying these in to everything miles upgrades gave dolores offensive capabilities as well which is something i had wanted in the game look at this they already they already implemented or sketched out upgrades before putting it in the game what if we see this in Spider-Man 2? Y'all following me? Oh, y'all, I feel like y'all are following me. We here, right? We here. In this story, Miles and MJ successfully used a modified spider lore to scramble the cloaking technology that the hood was using to make himself invisible and leave his ears ringing, all right? So, like you just did, he's obviously shrieking in pain and it obviously hurts. It's, it's ear splitting, like it said. And so, again, what if we see that in Spider-Man 2? I don't think they confirmed much of the gadgets, but this could be a gadget confirmed. So we have gadget confirmed. We have possibly new villains, new and recurring gadgets, and even some new tech that we might see. So just to recap so far, we have new gadgets, new tech that we might see, new villains that may appear or be Easter egg or dropped in some way. We have confirmation that nine to 10 months before this, things were going on, right? So now we have the foreigner. Right? While investigating the Hood's efforts to buy the Lifeline tablet, Miles kept finding references to someone known as the Foreigner. This right here is what I want to get into. New villain confirmed? Question mark? Right? They said, they said that someone would kept making references to the Foreigner, but he had not appeared in this comic yet. He could appear in Spider-Man 2. They kept saying, think about it. They kept saying villains with an S and emphasizing that there were other, there might be other vi villains other than the Lizard, other than Venom, other than other than uh, Craven, right? And so I'm thinking, okay, what else? And I think they might add somebody that may not be too well known or somebody you don't talk about a lot, but it's still like he's still that. You know what I'm saying? The Foreigner, I feel like, is a great example. He's an assassin, right? Just just to break just for them to break down some of his stuff by making direct eye contact with someone He can hypnotize them and send them into a trance for 10 seconds Which makes his targets think that he is has super speed Right that's I mean that that's his power and I think that that could be something that could be fun It don't have to be a part of the main mission But that could be fun to even add as a DLC as you can see uh, the, again They give you the whole description and then they give you the comic or uh, when he issued or when he made his debut, I believe, or in one of the comics, right? And so we get on into this and we get on into the bread, black, the bread. Sandman, nobody really talks about Sandman. Sandman came in the movie Spider-Man 2. I just feel like Spider-Man 2, the game, he should make an appearance, right? Sandman, you know, you, you know him. He's got a pass, but he's, he's kind of, He's kind of like on kind of both sides of the spectrum here. I think he might make his appearance in Sandman, uh, in this, but to help Spider-Man in some way, he might end up being a villain at first, but he might help Spider-Man defeat villain, uh, Venom in some way. I feel like it's gonna take, like, I don't know if they can, them two can beat him alone. I think it's gonna take like an extra, extra you know, like when the villains come back and help and stuff like that. I don't know, like, I just think it is, all right. Almost concluding here, we have the Empire State or Empire State University. As a senior at Brooklyn Visions Academy, right? I think this is where Miles is going, right? Again, already setting this up. Already setting this up for the next game. They're already, this is Brooklyn, Brooklyn Visions Academy. You can see this in this trailer that Brian Intahar was explaining, one of the creative directors for Spider-Man 2. He was explaining this in the first part when he was saying like going back to the stomping grounds. One mission, Peter crashed a Halloween party on campus while trying to protect the professor from Mr. Ne Negative's inner demons. On several subsequent missions, Peter searched for a few missing ESU students and freed other students who had fallen under Mr. Negative's influence. This was the mission where you had to go talk to the guy and he would take, give you a picture and you had to go to that place on the map and you had to go find that person or find those group of people and stop them from Mr. Negative's influence. They're, again, tying everything in. This literally ties everything into the next part. And so now we have 
Jonah Jameson's new job. Everybody was wondering, where's Jonah Jameson? He is a publisher of the Daily Bugle right now, um, and he has moved on to being a host uh, podcast called Just the Facts for his fact channel. And using his podcast voice, his frequent criticism of Spider-Man and occasional support of Mayor Norman Osborne, Jameson makes a deal to return to the debut Daily Bugle in his comment. So he's returning to the Daily Bugle, and that's where he's going to be, and that's 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 basically the just. So they basically gave you the rundown of everything you needed to know, the, the, the track record of what happened. Now, I will be linking the comic book link as well as the article link below so you guys can check this out for yourself and read through it uh, i believe this subscription may be like 9.99 a month you have to read up on that uh this is not an ad but yeah this was the breakdown this was literally what happened nine months nine to ten months prior to the events of spider-man 2 so now you're all caught up now if you've been playing spider-man 1 but i have i've literally played through the first half of the story i gotta do the dlc and i'm gonna do miles morales i'm gonna be just in time for, for October 20th, baby, don't worry. I'm, I'm making that, finishing all the games. I'm going to read through this comic right before it gets there. And we there, baby. We there, baby. It, it's going to get into it. I might make a few other content videos like Dragon Ball. I actually got to do some DLC reviews for that. I might just take a break from doing, you know, Spider-Man just for a few. Not after these two. I got a, a lot of more videos coming up. But, you know, after that set, I take a little break, you know, give it some time and then... Spider-Man 2, we, we on it with the content, baby. I still got to decide what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do first. I don't know if I just want to... I don't know. We, we'll see. But leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We'll get on some more Spider-Man 2 content. Peace.